Hello, this is Hanka Debian, and I am here with SCP-411, also known as the Agent Precog. I have number 411, or SCP-411. This is a level 5 top secret object. Containment class, Esoteric. Secondary class, Domuel. Disruption class, Vlam. Risk class, Notice. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-411 is to be kept in a standard humanoid containment suite at Exist Integral Isolation Facility a blank at 05 clearance required. All reasonable requests made by SCP-411 are to be met where uh, are possible. A bank of television screens displaying 24-hour news coverage is provided for SCP-411's use. Requests for texts and devices that do not yet exist are to be filed until such a time as they can be accessed. At the moment, SCP-411 is not considered a containment risk. All information gathered from SCP-411 is to be stored at the Excentral Containment Unit and it's to be disclosed at the discretion of Dr. Blank only. All staff leaving Excentral Isolation Facility Blank are to be administered with Class C amnestics. <sighs> Description SCP-411 is a gray-haired, blue-eyed, Caucasian male of incredibly advanced age. Estimates of his biological age, based on information of old genetic abuse, are in the region of 400 years. SCP-411's nature means that special interview and linguistics training is required by all research staff. SCP-411 ages in reverse, growing younger at the same rate that normal human ages. SCP-411's memory also functions in reverse. SCP-411 411 has no recollection of past events, but can recall the future. Most of the information we have gathered about SCP-411 originates from the work of a Dr. Lightacker, an individual who appears not to work for the Foundation as of yet, via the recollections of SCP-411 himself. As such, caution is to be used when applying this information. SCP-411 speaks at an as yet unknown dialect of English has significant grammar grammatical and vocabulary deviations from modern English. Individuals who are to be given training in this language will benefit from a background in Spanish, Mandarin, and or Cantonese. It's redacted and Haskell. SCP-411's ability to recall future events is hindered by its advanced biological age. Events more than a few months in the future are often forgotten and the details of events in the near to near future are often vague and unclear. The events surrounding persons he is familiar with are often more clear, but omissions are not uncommon. In addition, the deviations from SCP-411's memories of future cause SCP-411's significant mental harm and can often render him catatonic for, for days. Due to the potential for of all data to be lost in this fashion, particularly as one recollection often triggers other more significant recollections, SCP-411's memories are only to be acted upon in the fall following situations. Risk of serious injury, security breach, or death of the founder, mandatory. Risk of K-class scenario, oh, mandatory. Risk of class 1 security breach, mandatory. Risk of o death of 005 personnel, advise. Risk of significant and destructive of SCP breach, advise. Risk of class 2 security breach, Suggested. Risk of multiple senior research of deaths. Suggested. While a full course of trading is required to interact with SCP-411, the following guidelines should be followed if emergency, re if emergency meetings are required. From the viewpoint of SCP-411, your first meeting is your final meeting. The stress or other high in the emotional states are not causes for concern. SCP-411 efforts future will reference events in your future as if they were in your past. Do not attempt to act on these events. 
SCP-411's perspective on an event is roughly opposite that of a normal observer. SCP-411 will answer your questions before you ask them and will not recall any point in the conversation prior to your current question. Do not fail to ask questions SCP-411 have answered. SCP-411's advanced age should be taken into consideration when interviewing him. Overlong sessions can leave SCP-411 physically and mentally drained. <sighs> SCP-411's overall memory is poor. For example, SCP-411 often cannot recall what he will have for dinner that evening. It is unknown on when Dr. Erlitak will join the Foundation, but has been decided that he is not to be actively sought upon his eventual recruitment at that date of reach is to be staged and all information regarding SCP-411 is derived from to prevent ontological paradoxes regarding SCP-411's abilities. I decided to go over this because SP411 seemed interesting from what I heard about it in a certain SCP-001 proposal while I was listening. I hope you enjoyed listening to this, this as well. If you do enjoy, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I'll see you next time.